Middle market companies in the United States delivered a very strong performance in 2014, a bang up year in which the middle market led the broader U.S. economy in its recovery. I'm Tom Stewart, the Executive Director of the National Center for the Middle Market, and I'm here to present the results of our middle market indicator for the fourth quarter of 2014. The middle market in the United States comprises 200,000 companies with revenue between $10 million a year and $1 billion. They represent the middle third. The middle third of employment, about a third of private sector employees are in smaller companies, a third in larger, and the middle third of GDP. Again, about a third is smaller and about a third is larger. So the middle market represents the heart of the U.S. economy, and every quarter we check its health. We survey executives, senior executives, from a representative sample of middle market companies chosen to be representative in terms of size, in terms of industry, in terms of geography. We ask them about their performance, about their sales, about their employment, about their plans, their challenges, and their confidence in the U.S. economy. The data for this middle market indicator were collected in the beginning of December 2014 and basically represent a year's results. And here are some of the headlines. Let's start with the top line. Let's start with revenue. We saw extraordinarily strong growth in the middle market in 2014, 7.2% year-on-year top-line growth, the best performance we've seen in the three years that we've been tracking the middle market indicator. And as I said before, with the middle market leading U.S. economic growth, that 7.2% growth in the middle market compares to 4.9% growth for the larger companies in the S&P 500. Our conversations with executives bear out what the data show, that it was a really good year for middle market companies across the board. The, we see significant and solid growth in every size segment of the middle market. Earlier in the year, we saw some softness in the middle band, the, what we call the core middle market, companies with revenues between 50 and $150 million. But that softness has disappeared, and across all three segments, smaller, middle-sized core and larger middle market companies, we see consistent growth. From an industry perspective as well, we saw a broad and, 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 and widespread distribution of gains. As you might expect, construction was the last industry to come to the party from the U.S. economic recovery. But in the construction industry in 2014, 69% of companies reported improved performance, which puts them right about in the same level as the rest of the middle market. So very broad, widespread distribution of results. Now let's look at jobs, where we also see a similar strong performance. Year on year, the middle market added jobs at the rate of 5%, a 5% increase in employment. This is also the strongest number we've seen since the, in the three years that we've been tracking the middle market indicator. And it compares to 2.2% job growth in the smaller companies and 2.2% job growth in the companies in the S&P 500. So it sort of looks like the middle market created as many jobs as small business and big business combined. Something worth noting is the relationship between revenue growth on the one hand and employment growth on the other. Economists have noted that we've had a relatively jobless recovery in the broader economy, with revenue growth increasing a lot faster than employment has increased, and unemployment being stubbornly high. That pattern has held true in the middle market as well. We have, but if you do a chart over the last three years and take a look at revenue growth and job growth, you see a gap between them. And you should, by the way, you should always see such a gap because that difference represents productivity improvement. But in the last couple of years, in the last couple of quarters, we have seen that gap narrow as employment growth has started to pick up and come closer to, uh, to revenue growth, which is good news for the economy as a whole and further evidence of the middle market's role in helping to whittle away at the unemployment problem in the United States. So 2014 was a really good year. What about 2015? What about looking ahead? We asked middle market executives how they see the year ahead, and their confidence is pretty high. They're projecting 6% top line revenue growth. Now that's lower than the 7.2% that they've delivered, but we have noted over the past that traditionally these guys under promise and over deliver, and 6% is the most solid projection that we've seen from them. 
They're also projecting continued strong employment growth, 4%. Again, that's the highest number that we have seen. If you ask them about their confidence in the economy, there you see an interesting number. You see very high confidence in domestic, in the, in the U.S. economy, 73% express some degree of confidence or a great degree of confidence in the U.S. economy, and 81% say they're confident in the local economy. If you ask them about the global economy, the rose-colored glasses come off, and there they see about a 53% number show it, say, uh, expressing confidence in the future of the global economy, which reflects the slowdowns um, in, in Asia and the continued stagnation in Europe. So the opportunity that middle market companies seen is primarily at home, and they're making plans to seize that opportunity. Half of them say that they plan to introduce a new product or service this year. And if you ask them, as we always do, if you had an extra dollar of revenue, would you invest it or would you save it? 68% say that they would invest it. And that also is the highest number we've seen, betokening serious confidence by middle market executives and an opening of the purse strings to take advantage of the opportunities that they see. The world's not perfect, of course, and middle market executives see plenty of challenges ahead. They continue to be concerned about the cost of health care. They continue to be concerned and increasingly concerned about the overall cost of doing business. We asked them this quarter specifically what their feelings are, what their belief is about U.S. infrastructure. And fully 80% of them say that the state of U.S. infrastructure, the bridges, the roads, the ports, has at least some impact on their business. And 44% say that they would actually be willing to pay higher taxes to fund improvements in U.S. infrastructure. So this is an emerging issue along with issues of talent, both top talent and technical talent. These are growing pains. They're good pains to have, but they are pains. All in all then, a very good year for the U.S. middle market. Terrific growth, terrific employment growth, strong confidence, strong plans being laid for the future. There's lots more data on the middle market to be found in the full middle market indicator report, which you can find at our website, www.middlemarketcenter.org. Thanks very much.